use real devices and avoid simulators or emulators now what happens is whenever you create an application or whenever you write some code for the application that that code might work perfectly for the simulator or for the emulator but whenever you will be running the same code over real device for example your real phone or anything like that you might get bunch of errors or you might get you know new exceptions or you know you can break some dependencies or break some packages so i would always recommend you to work on real devices and avoid all the simulators and emulators now of course you can use simulator and emulator in the practice mode and develop it mode but as soon as you you know create a new function as soon as you complete a particular module or feature try to run the particular project over real device now the second point i would like to add is have a habit of testing like you should test your applications you know in a week or often you know every day that uh, we can also say in a day right you need to test your applications every single day i'm not saying about the physical use you need to write test cases you need to write you know unit tests you need to write uh, integration tests and all type of tests right now flutter also provides widget test for us so you can start writing widget tests now i will be late now i will be linking some good resources over how to start with test test in the description box you can test it out but please have a habit of testing that is habit uh, habit of writing unit test uh, widget test if you are a flutter developer and also you should be writing all the integration test right so make sure you have a habit of writing testing that is you should start testing your application in order to become a better developer now the third thing that i would like to add for all the web uh, app developers is to use web views now let's say you need to open a particular field let's say you need to open a privacy policy of a particular so instead of you know dynamically changing data same time to time in the application itself you can show the privacy policy with a web view right so this will provide a better option for the user to you know view the privacy policy in a good way so make sure you use web views throughout your applications and also you know display or use the web view at the right case you should not be you know writing login pages or sign up pages with web view but instead provide data that is show data that's a, a lot of dynamic in a its own way the fourth thing that i would like to say is build for customers right so i like to say build for customers and not for yourself now i have been doing freelancing in flutter for a while and i have built a lot of applications i have built applications for commercial purposes and whenever i build a commercial application i convey myself that i am building this application for the customer not for myself what happens is whenever you build an application most of the times you you know add features that are not needed you build things that are not used by anyone so whenever you create anything whenever you create any you know new application or anything try to build it for the users or i can also say uh, build it for the users and not for yourself so this advice is very recommended for people who are very passionate with their work even uh, you know one time in last few years i was very passionate about my work but then i realized that whatever work i am doing so far is for all the people who are using my applications and not for myself right so make sure uh, you build the application considering that you are building for the customers and users and not for yourself the fifth point that i would like to add for becoming a good developer is to learn ux i'm not talking about ui but learn how to you know place elements in the application and trans transition in the application and do all the stuff that provide a good experience a good user experience so learn how to you know provide a good experience to the users to the customers of a application now don't try to you know randomly go to a particular course watch the entire fucking course and you know learn ux you can always reverse engineer your current application you can see that what things were placed strong and what things can you improve in your current application right so make sure you go in your current application right now and try to change the elements try to change the placing of some elements what will happen is you will be learning ux eventually now i am not saying learn you your yeah, ux by depth so i am saying not by depth but by use case right know where to place elements know where to use which colors know the user psychology know what or the what placement will be you know uh, keep uh, let the user stay on the application for a longer retention time so yeah in a nutshell just learn about ux not in depth like entire thing but just know what can be the use cases about like the same thing 
how can you improve the user retention period on your application right so these five points will be very important for any app developer on earth in order to build good applications now if you have loved this video please hit that like button and also comment something that you might want to ask to me or how can i improve the current videos you can always follow me on linkedin or instagram where i post regularly see you soon